It was so gross, to be completely honest. Believe it or not, this is a glass of orange juice. It was horrendous. Huh? That is not what I was expecting. I swear I cannot escape these. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I don't know why I just started the video like that. <laughs> Today I'm going to be testing some more TikTok ads, basically things that have popped up on my TikTok that I've had ads for, and I'm going to test those products, give you my honest thoughts. These are some of my favourite kind of videos to film, just because I love testing new things. Sometimes the stuff is great, and sometimes the stuff is not so great, so let's get into it. I'm going to start off with my nails, which are very festive. Can you believe it's pretty much a month till Christmas? Let me just bring you a bit closer. These are my festive nails. As you may know, this channel used to be called Soph Does Nails, I then changed it to Soph Does Life, but I've been doing my own nails for the past... 10 years and I'm so excited that this part of the video I'm working with Miley which is the brand of gel nails that I use gel nails gel nail polishes everything to do with nails pretty much these days Miley is the brand that I've used for the past three years and since I learned to do my own gel nails I don't use regular nail polish anymore just because it lasts so much longer and I was talking to Ellie my best friend the other day and she was telling me how she went to the nail salon to get her nails done and it cost her like 60 quid I'm sure it's not that expensive everywhere but I was just thinking like 60 pounds some people get their nails done once a month so if you can learn to do your own nail nails at home, it is gonna work out so much cheaper in the long run. I mean, I personally have found that. I cannot recommend the brand Miley enough. They do such great gel polishes and they have just come out with these fix and flash tips. They are so easy to do. If you can stick on a fake nail, you can do this yourself at home. But these are a lot thinner and less chunky than like your regular kind of fake nails and also you don't need to super glue them to the ends of your fingertips. They've got lots of different shapes. They've got the long square, they've got long almond, short square, long coffin, which are the ones that I used, short almond, and long stiletto. So pretty much every kind of nail shape. So I will show you how I use these. You can, of course, put them on all of your nails to extend all of your nails. My natural nails are quite long, but I do break some of my nails from time to time. So this one, this one, and this one are the soft gel tips. You would never be able to tell because they look so natural. So you want to make sure that you push your cuticles back, file your nails, and then buff the top surface of your nails lightly to just make sure that the surface is a little bit grippy. Then you want to dehydrate your nails and I use the nail prep and polish wipe for this. You don't want any oils or moisturizers on your nails at this point otherwise your gels will peel a lot easier. Then you just apply a layer of the fix and flash gel onto your actual nail bed and then a little bit onto the soft gel tips as well. And then you want to gently sort of lower the tip down onto your nail starting from the top and just slowly lowering it so that you don't get bubbles underneath. And if you do have one of the Miley lamps you can just take the base off the bottom of it and just raise it slightly. And then you want to hold down onto that nail with your other hand and just cure it under the light for five seconds. And then once you've individually cured the nails, you then want to cure your whole hand for 60 seconds just to make sure that it's fully cured. And then if you want to trim them down a little bit, if they're too long, you can use this little trimming tool thing. I don't actually know what this is called, but it was very useful. And then you just want to buff the top surface of the nails, use the nail prep and polish wipe again, and then you're good to go. You can paint them with whatever gels you want. So I started with a base coat and then on my thumb, index finger and my little finger, I used the shade in the spotlight, which is this gorgeous glittery red. Probably the most festive shade. On my two middle fingers, I used the shade green velvet. I did two coats of this as well and then on my ring finger I did a layer of the gold glitter which is called gold mines obviously curing each layer in between and then on my middle finger I used the shade break the ice to create this little snowflake just using a small brush and then I finished off with the no wipe top coat and this is what they were looking like and then I just added some nail oil and that was it those are my festive nails done they also have so many gorgeous Christmas colors and gift sets this year I will do some little swatches of all of these colors they have the ice ice baby duo which comes with this gorgeous lilac color and a silver glitter Glitter. They have another party duo which has got a beautiful glittery green that will probably be on my nails this festive season And it also comes with a shimmery red so that one is super festive if you want to kind of do something like this They have the slay it collection. This one's got loads of fun colors. It's not your kind of traditional Christmas colors. There is a glittery green in here, but there's a metallic pink, a glitter gold, and then this beautiful kind of turquoise blue color. Christmas party kind of vibes. They have this bejeweled nail art kit. Best believe I'm still bejeweled. This comes with a little tray that you can kind of put your gel polishes on if you're doing nail art. It comes with a dotting tool, a nail art brush, some gems and pearls, some gold leaf, and a builder gel. And finally, they do also have their advent calendar this year, which has got lots of nice bits in there. I have opened every single door because I can't 
wait till Christmas and also I wanted to show you what's in it. And all of those things you can shop on their website which is just miley.co.uk. If you sign up to their email list you can get 10% off their website so that is something else to note as well. So if you wanted to treat yourself or to treat somebody else for Christmas I will leave all the links down below. Thank you Miley for working with me on this video. I love you guys. Keep smashing it and let's move on to the next product. The next thing is super random. This is actually something that James ordered which was quite surprising. I mean whatever they're doing for the advertising it's working well because I've had about 10 different ads for this brand. It's called Real Foods and it's basically a superfood kind of company that sells these products that you're supposed to make drinks from and it's got like loads of good things in it. It's got chia seeds, acai berry, acerola, blueberry, cranberry, maki berry, strawberry and maca root. This is the Berry Beauty Organic Superfood Blend and you can mix it into smoothies, you can mix it into oats, it says, yogurts, and it says you can mix it into water as well, which is originally why James bought this because he wants like a way to get more vitamins because it's got like vitamin c calcium copper zinc protein and it's like this powder stuff so this is the berry beauty one but they do lots of others it smells absolutely delicious it's a really weird texture i don't know if you can see in there when james first tried this so you're supposed to mix a teaspoon into whatever you're eating or drinking he mixed it into a glass of water thinking that it was going to turn it into this like delicious juice <laughs> and it was absolutely vile. I don't know whether this one in particular maybe isn't. No, what it says on the back, add Berry Beauty to water. You can add it to water and it does suggest that for this, but it just tasted like water with like seeds and bits in it. Like it was so gross to be completely honest. And then when I got ill, I thought, okay, I need some like vitamins and minerals and nutrients and all the good stuff to try and make me better quickly. And I remember that we had this. So I actually added a big old spoonful of this into a kind of like orange and passion fruit or mango, whatever it was, smoothie that I had. And in a smoothie, it was delicious. Especially if you're making your own smoothies, add a spoonful of this, it changes it into a really pretty pink colour and it made me feel a bit better that I was doing something good for myself. And I don't know, like, I can't say, whoa, like I felt so many benefits, but I actually really liked it mixed into a smoothie. So if you have by any chance tried this and you've mixed it into water and thought, that's disgusting, try mixing it into a smoothie or, believe it or not, this is a glass of orange juice with a spoonful of that in it. It does have little bits in it, which probably might throw some people off. It's definitely much nicer when you do mix it into a smoothie, but in orange juice, you know what? It's absolutely fine tastes good, just has a slight more like berry taste to the orange juice and it makes me feel a bit better about myself because I'm getting more vitamins and minerals. Gross in water, but nice in a smoothie. And I'm sure it would be nice in like a I don't know, one of those acai bowls, but I've never had one of those in my life. The next thing, the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. This has taken its sweet time to come to the UK. We had a different version, which was like the matte one. Tried that on my TikTok. It was horrendous. I don't even have it anymore, or it would have been in that video of like products that I don't like. This is supposed to be a kind of like dupe-ish thing for the flawless filter, and it's finally in the UK, and let me bring you even closer. The ads have started rolling in on my TikTok and I have to say guys, I have already tried this before this video because I was testing it out myself to see if it was something that I personally would like to do an ad of. I've got these shades 01 Light and 00 Fair Light. I think I'm gonna go for 00 Fair Light today. Give it a good shake. You twist this. Huh? Okay, I've given it a good old shake. Guys, look. This happened with both of them, and I don't really know if you can see that, but some kind of like clear liquid and white liquid comes out of this at the same time as the pigment. And so I'm assuming that this is what the texture is just supposed to kind of be like. And it was the same with the other shade as well, but it's just quite watery, which I wasn't expecting at all. It's very, very thin. I'm gonna put it on half my face and we'll see if there's a difference. And I did use a brush for this because I felt like a brush is the easiest way to apply these kind of products because a sponge sometimes absorbs a little bit more. I think what it was is I'm comparing it to like the e.l.f. version of the dupe of the kind of Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter thing. And yes, don't get me wrong, this adds a nice glow to your face. I mean, I'm looking very glowy already because I've got like SPF and moisturizer on underneath. And it does definitely give a nice glow, but it just 
didn't really have much coverage and I have to say the other day like my skin has improved quite a lot now in terms of like dryness but I had a few dry patches the other day especially on my forehead and I found that this kind of emphasized the dry patches I thought it would be a lot more hydrating than it is like it it looks very glowy but it doesn't really feel hydrating to me I just I don't know I wasn't expecting this kind of texture I thought it would be a little bit thicker and really it doesn't feel like you're wearing a lot on your skin like it feels quite nice I have to say now that I'm putting it on now I do like this more than I did last week when I tested it out it feels kind of like a serum with a tiny bit of like pigment in it and you know what i do think it looks quite nice on my face i wouldn't leave it like this i would definitely need to powder but i'm not saying that this is a bad product like i think it does make my skin look very nice it kind of evens it a bit but i think if you have very dry skin and have like active dry patches i wouldn't necessarily recommend this because it can kind of kind of cling in those places i like it but i just i thought i was gonna like it a lot more and i wouldn't kind of like rave about it now that my dry patches have kind of cleared up a bit i think it does look nice and glowy but I just wish it had a little bit more coverage and maybe was a little bit less watery almost. I'm just gonna add a bit more makeup and I will be right back with the next makeup product. BRB. So I've just done concealer and cream bronzer and blush. This is the new Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. It's called the Translucent Loose Setting Powder Ultra Blur. Apparently this is a new talc-free formula and I have the shade Translucent. First of all, I've got to say, I way prefer the packaging of this one. It's pretty much the same packaging, but just with this like beige colored lid. I think it looks really cute. And the original is one of my favorite powders. So I am actually gonna do a little side-by-side -side comparison to see which one I prefer. My little mini one's actually got, whoa, okay, that's too much. My mini one has got more in it. The newer one looks ever so slightly more yellow or am I just seeing things? Oh, did I just pour that all over my lap? <laughs> I'm gonna set my under eye with this and let's do the original side first. Taking my powder puff, keeping my eye open so it doesn't crease and then let's just take some of this and press that in. So that is the original Laura Mercier side. Very smooth, looks very nice. Doesn't flash back in photos, which I will definitely be doing a flashback test for this. The new one, let's put on this side. So exact same technique, just the different side of the powder puff. I've got to say the formula of this new one feels a bit thinner. Like the actual powder feels a little bit more weightless, almost like a, you know, like those white kind of translucent, really ultra fine powders. Is it just me or is that a bit more brightening than the original as well? Okay, interesting, interesting. Let me just set my eyelids quickly this is so interesting given the fact that this one to me feels a little bit more lightweight i'm gonna have to zoom you in because to me this feels a little bit more dry the new one okay so new side old side watch when i smile okay i feel like this one looks a bit more dry and wrinkly is that just me yeah no this one when i smile it definitely feels drier and then when i relax my face there's kind of more wrinkles that have formed that is so interesting. Yeah, actually on my skin, this one feels more dry and a bit more cakey feeling. That is not what I was expecting. Let's just go ahead and set the rest of my face with a brush. And then I'm using the original on this side. Why is my face peeling off here? My face is literally peeling off. That dry patch of skin, it just decided to come off mid video. Let me go and do a flashback test and we will see if the new one flashes back. <laughs> Some of these photos are terrifying. I went into my fully like pitch black bathroom and took pictures of myself. <laughs> and the first one, I just look so startled. It's so funny. Both sides look exactly the same in terms of flashback. They both look pretty good. I mean, I look terrifying, but they both look pretty good. There's no like crazy white reflection or anything. So that's all good. They don't really feel different on the rest of my face. It was just under my eyes here. I felt like the newer one felt ever so slightly more heavy under my eye. In terms of how it controls my oils, I will check back in at the end of the day and see if there's any difference. I'm just gonna do my brows, add some powder, bronzer and blush and I'll be right back. The final thing that I'm gonna be testing today, these NARS lipsticks. I swear I cannot escape these. I was actually gifted the lip collection of these from NARS. I am so curious. They're called the Power Matte Lipsticks. I'm gonna try this one first which is called Sweet Disposition, but these are supposed to be no transfer lipsticks. And this evening I'm going to visit my brother. We're gonna have pizza and I'm gonna see if this will last through pizza. Probably won't because pizza's oily and most lipsticks don't last through pizza, even liquid lipsticks, but we'll see. So let me just wipe off 
my lip balm. Zoom you in a little bit. It looks like a really nice shade. Doesn't really have a smell. That's a little swatch. You know what? It actually feels creamier than I thought it would. Because I tried those Dior No Transfer lipsticks and I really didn't like them. It was just way too dry and a bit patchy. This one is called Tease Me. Let me just swatch this next to it to see which one I want to use. Oh, maybe I want to use Tease Me actually. You know what I think I'll do? I'll put Tease Me on first and put a bit of the other one in the middle. Yeah, wow, it's a lot creamier than I thought it was going to be. Amazingly, it doesn't actually feel super dry. I feel like there are a few areas where it's a bit more pigmented, like up here. Okay, now I can feel it starting to dry down. When you first put it on, it feels really creamy, and then it sort of dries a little bit. You know what? It feels like the tiniest bit sticky. It doesn't feel like a liquid lipstick though. It's not like that uncomfortable. It feels a lot nicer than the Dior ones, I've got to say that. Let's do a kiss test. There's like the tiniest bit of transfer from around the edges where I feel like that's just where it wasn't fully dry yet. Okay, let me do another one. That's actually pretty impressive. I mean, don't get me wrong. It doesn't feel like the most comfortable lipstick in the world because it is very matte and my lips do feel dry. I'm just going to put a bit of this shade in the center. I think I would need a lip liner with it because around the edges it's gone a little bit like it's not perfectly neat around the edges. You know what though? I think if you are eating with these, it just feels like the type of formula that's going to get crumbs stuck in it. But the colours are really pretty. I really like the look of it. That is pretty impressive. I'm going to put these in my bag and take them with me and we'll see how they last through the pizza. First impressions though, I actually quite like it. I think the colour looks really pretty. I do just think though, like I have quite dry lips and I think after a couple of hours, this would probably annoy me and I'd want some lip balm. But I mean, sure, you could put some lip balm over the top of it, but I think that would probably break it down and make it not transfer proof. Question is now, how do I get these off my hand? Hello everyone, so I'm coming to you from a premier in hotel bathroom. We had our pizza and I've just got back and I've looked in the mirror. This was the side that I put on the newer powder and this is the side that I put on the older powder. What I've actually noticed, this side is a lot more oily. Can you see around my nose? Like it's got really quite shiny around here on my cheek and on this half of my nose, it's got a lot more oily and it's more kind of like, yeah, just shiny around this area. And my forehead on that side is more oily as well here than on this side. But interestingly enough, this side with the older powder isn't as oily around my nose. This side's definitely got more shine, but this side hasn't collected as much in my smile lines whereas this one is collected a lot more so what i gather from this is that this side isn't it didn't last as longer for oily skin however if you have dry skin you would probably prefer this powder if you have oilier skin this one keeps the oils in a bit better however it's sunk into my smile lines a bit more so it's definitely not the same and it definitely doesn't lock in your oils as much as the original laura mercier powder and in terms of the lips the color is still there but my lips are feeling really dry and really crusty and I feel like I really need to moisturize them. But the color has definitely worn off kind of like around the edges. It did last pretty well throughout the piece. So I mean, it still looks okay, but I would definitely need a lip balm at this point because they're just feeling really dry. That is me testing a bunch of stuff that I saw on TikTok. What do you think? I hope this was helpful. I hope you can now kind of make your own mind up about some of these products, but I will leave everything linked down below. If you like this kind of video, please give this a thumbs up and maybe you want to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I make them quite often. I hope you guys are doing good and I will see you in my next video. Video. Bye!